weekly uh, Zer video. This one here is the first week after Warmind. I'm excited because I can actually utilize the Faded Ingram, so I can't wait to see what I get here. So he's in Watcher's Grave. He's over here on his tree, of course. So once we get there, <clears throat> we'll just jump up here. Oh, and fall off, of course. Squid face has for us today, shall we? <clears throat> All right. So for the honor, we have the Knucklehead Radar, with 23 legendary shards. Which has provides radar while aiming, uh, increased resilience or re increased recovery. Comes with the impact absorption mod, so you can take more damage. Plus, it adds five defense. I don't have an ornament, so I can't show you that. We have the Prometheus Lens for 29 Legendary Shards, <clears throat> which requires a Curse of Osiris in order to get. Fires a solar trace beam and generates a damaging heat field that grows while the weapon continues to fire. We have increased stability, moderately controls recoil, and slightly decreases handling speed, increases range. Kills with this weapon return a fraction of the ammo used to the magazine, extending the beam's duration. And we have uh, slightly increased stability and slightly increases handling speed. It comes, of course, with the weapon attack mod. Don't forget, it has a catalyst which you can find in strikes against the most challenging opponents. I'm not sure if that's Nightfall uh, Strike or if it's just Heroic Strike, but I'm going to give Heroic Strike a try there. After I finish this video, I think. <clears throat> and for the Warlock, we have the Vesper of Radius for 23 Legendary Shards. Which has Rifts release an Eric Shark Shockwave when cast. Rift energy recharges faster when you are surrounded by enemies. Increased resilience or increased health recovery. Comes with the Arc Ordnance mod, adding 5 defense, and your grenades recharge faster when using an Arc subclass. And we have Ashen Awake, or Ashen Wake. Fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. Grenades recharge faster when using a solar subclass. There are 23 legendary shards. I have not gotten them yet, so now I have. Let's take a look. So what is the perks? We have the increased resilience and increased recovery. Of course it is the grenade solar mod which we already bred. And bring the heat fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. That's pretty cool. Right on. Oh, I didn't mean to get out of there. What am I doing? Jeez. Alright, so you can pick up those three of coins which I suggest right now because they seem to work. You know, they, I've been getting a little more exotics. Um, exotic engrams with my characters by using them I think and you can pick up one of those which lasts about 4 hours for 31 legendary shards what's this? 5 of swords challenge card is it a portent what? is it a portent of victory or warning of overconfidence enables modifiers and nightfall strikes on prestige difficulty more challenging modifiers apply larger score multipliers this will replace a rare challenge card in your inventory. Okay. I will take it. And of course you can pick up your faded engram for 97 legendary shards. Let's find out what we get. Rolling, 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 and we got the Claws of Hamkara. Nice. I don't have those yet. Let's take a look at them. Whispers gain an additional melee charge. Increased mobility, increased resilience. That's the acceleration mod. Adding five defense, and I can move faster with this piece of gear on. Not too bad. Oh, what's that? Yeah, I just got this today. Sleeper simulant. Not a bad weapon, if I say so myself. This weapon's laser over penetrates enemies and refracts off hard surfaces. 
polygonal rifing increases stability. We have the flared mag weld, slightly increases stability, greatly increases reload speed. Moving target, increased movement speed and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights, and slightly increases stability and handling speed. It's not too bad of a gun. I like it. I just got it. was a hard though. The last step was just insane because I went in it. It was recommended 360 and I went in at 346. And I still got it. Not too bad. It's also working on this here is now fully masterworked. So is my Darcy. I got the sword. World line zero. Press R2 after sprinting for a short period to perform a tesseract. Tempered Edge increased sword damage and ammo. Infinite Guard. Sword Guard has very high efficiency and balanced defense. Assassin's Blade. Sword kills mo boost movement speed and damage. And Tireless ba Blade. Powered Sword kills grant sword ammo. Of course it has a catalyst, which you don't know. I've heard it's from Tesseracting uh, bosses. Or not bosses, but... Uh, Hard people, hard enemies. You know, like yellow bars and stuff like that. Uh, let me see, what else did I get? I also got this from collecting all 45 of the sleep, or the not the sleeper nodes, but the um, uh, what are they called? The data nodes. It's pretty cool. It reminds me of Star Wars kind of thing with the pods here, the pod racer kind of deal. Also got. The Vespa laser, which is really cool. But this one here takes no time at all to summon. And this one here is a shorter cooldown. I also get one of the new ships, which is pretty cool. Of course, I added, uh, what was it? New Marnaki Regalia to it. Make it even cooler. So there's what Zer has. Plus a little extra. I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. Now it's time to go back in time to Destiny 1. After that little stumble, speech stumble. So, Zer is for Destiny 1. is here in the reef. In this little hallway here. His room. And hopefully I don't trip over my tongue this time. <clears throat> so, you can pick up your legacy engram. It's a heavy engram for 31 strange coin. Dropping those year 1... Uh, Heavy weapons. For the Titan, we have the Helm of Inmost Light for 13 strange coin, which has <coughs> <coughs> provides death from above and headstrong for fists of havoc. Also have increased intellect or increased strength. Gain uh, super energy, or increase super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness, and gain bonus super energy from heavy weapon kills on minions of the darkness. Gain bonus super energy on orb pickups. <coughs> so, for the hunter, ATS 8 Tarantella for 13 strange coin. Chez takes reduced arc damage from minions of the darkness. Arc grenades and arc blade recharge faster. Also have increased intellect, increased discipline. It increases the amount of pulse rifle, or you can increase the amount of shotgun ammunition you can carry. You can reduce the incoming arc burn damage, or you can increase armor when using an arc based subclass, which works good with that piece. <coughs> Heart of Praxic Fire for the Warlock, for 13 strange coin. Further decreases all ability cooldowns while Radiance is active, greatly increases agility. Increased intellect, or increased discipline. We have the uh, Increases the amount of pulse rifle ammunition you can carry, or increases the amount of fusion rifle ammo you can carry. Reduces the incoming arc burn damage, or you can have increased armor when using a solar blade blazed. What? Solar based subclass. I think I'm still tripping over my tongue. Just cut it out. Great. Dragon's Breath and Tiger Shark, and Red Death and Steel Witch are the two bundles for 30 strange coin and 25 silver dust. Plasma Drive and the Emerald Coil for 23 Strange Coin you can pick up to upgrade those rare sparrows into legendary sparrows. Plus, I think it boosts the speed from 150 to 160 if I'm correct. You can pick
pick up a heavy ammo synthesis. Three of them for one strange coin. Or you can pick up ten of them for three strange coin. Pick up five, three of coins for seven strange coin. And to re-roll those perks on those exotic gear, you can pick up these glass needles, a bundle of three for three strange coin, three motes of light, one exotic shard. Down here you can pick up your exotic shards, one of them for seven strange coin. And over here you can pick up your motes of light, one of those for two strange coin. So there you have it, there's what old Squiggly has, both in Destiny 2 and Destiny 1. Sorry for a little tongue twisting there, but hey, I don't re-record re one time through, first time. So, what can you do, right? It's basically live. Oh well, I'm bumbling. Um, yeah, so hopefully it's something that you want, and if he does, hopefully you get in to get it. And thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.